video we're going to have a look at what river deltas are, how they form, and we'll have a quick look at the river Nile. So all a river delta is, is this usually triangular um, wedge or area of land found where a river joins the sea. So this is the river Nile heading down towards the Mediterranean Sea and this triangular area of land, this is the delta. Now, how do they form? Well, rivers flow downhill um, because of gravity and they erode and carry rock in them as they're flowing downhill. When they hit the sea, it has a huge breaking effect on the river and the river will drop all of its rock. Um, this builds up in layers to create new land, which is called a delta. Um, here's my slightly more advanced version. So the rivers head downhill, they erode the rock they travel over. On meeting the sea, the river's speed rapidly slows down and therefore um, the river will lose the ability to carry material and the rock will be dropped. Um, the dropped rock is known as alluvium and eventually new land is created and this is our delta forming. Now, if you have a look at a delta, um, it often splits into lots of little channels um, before it joins the sea. So here's the river flowing down towards the sea. This wedge of land here is the delta, but you'll notice the water wandering across it in lots of different channels. Well, this is an explanation of that. When the river slows down, it drops its sediment. and This actually can block the original river channel. And this leads to new paths for the water to flow in, known as distributaries. Um, if a river splits into two or more branches, it's known as bifurcation. Um, this land that has been dropped is incredibly fertile um, because it's basically soil and sand and silt and mud that's been carried down from further upstream. When it's deposited here, it gives great land for farming um, for the development of a new ecosystem in the area. Here's an example, um, which is the River Nile. It's one of the world's largest river deltas, stretching about 150 miles along the Mediterranean coastline. It covers an area of 100 miles from north to south. It's a very rich agricultural region, supporting most of Egypt's habitable land. It was formed by silt and sediments deposited by the Nile River as it flows into the Mediterranean Sea. And finally, most of Egypt's population lives in the Nile Delta, crucial for the country's agriculture and economy. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it interesting.